As we have seen in our Kawan class already, we have two versions for the definition of derivative, namely f prime of a, and they are equivalent. But the question is, which one is easier? Well, the quick answer for that is going to be, it depends on your preference. I will tell you that this right here is usually harder to factor, and this one right here is usually harder to expand. In this video, I'm going to use this as an example, and I'm going to demonstrate both, and at the end, you will tell me which one is easier for you. So let's get to work. Here's the our function, and I'm just going to write it down right here. This is going to be the limit as x approaching a. f of x is just that, which is x to the third power plus 2x. And then we have to minus, for f of a, we put a into here and here. So we open the parentheses, and we have a to the third power plus 2a. And then all this divided by x minus a. And if you look at the top, in fact, there's nothing that we can combine. However, we are about to factor things out. I'm actually going to pair things up like this and that, and let me just write it down right here for you guys. This is going to be the limit as x approaching a. Here we have the x to the third power, and I will take this and distribute it, and I will write it down right here, and that's minus a to the third power. Then, this is the plus 2x here, and then I will take this, distribute it, so we have the minus 2a. And again, all divided by x minus a. Here, we have four terms. Let's go ahead and factor them by grouping. For the first two terms, well, this is just going to be a difference of two cubes. So remember how to factor that. And once you factor it, you will get x minus a, right? x minus a times x squared plus this times that, which is, I will just write it as ax, and last the plus a squared. So I'll just add a squared like so. Cool. And then right here, we have to maintain the plus here. So we add, and then from here to here, we can factor out a 2. So we add a 2 here, and then the leftover is this minus that, so x minus a. And as you can see, this and that, they are the same, so we can factor it out. And let's see what we will have. Let's put it all the way in the front, x minus a, and then we'll just have this. So we open the parentheses, and we have x squared plus ax plus a squared, and then don't forget that we took this out, but we have to add the 2. So we will just put on a plus 2 here. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment that we have been waiting for. Cancel, cancel. Yes. All right. And lastly, we can just put the a into all the x's. So we are going to get this right here is a squared right here. And then we add this a times the x, which we are going to plug in the a right here. And then we add a squared. Oh, so this right here is already a squared, so I'll just keep it right here. And lastly, we have the plus 2. And guess what? This is a squared, but this is also a squared, and this is also a squared. All together, it's just 3a squared. So we have 3a squared, and don't forget we have that innocent plus 2 here. And then we are done. And yes, I know we can use the power rule. Bring the power to the front, so we have 3x and then minus 1 here, so we have the square. And then we just substitute the a right here, right? And then the derivative of 2x is just a 2, so yeah, we can do this in the 3 seconds. But anyway, this is how you go through the f prime of a limit definition with this version. Now let's look at this one. Well, here, this is the one that with the h. We have the limit as h approaching 0. For f of a plus h, we will put the a plus h into here and here, so we get a parentheses with a plus h, and then we square that, and we add 2 times a plus h. Alright? And then we will just minus here we have f of a, so we'll put the a into here and here, just like what we did earlier. And we will have a to the third power plus 2a, and all divided by h. Now, you see that this part, oops, this is going to be the third power. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I said this right here is harder when we have to expand it, right? And I'm just going to work this out real quick on the side here, let's say right here. 
down below here, right? A plus H, and we'll have to write it down three times, and then we'll just expand it. And of course, if you remember the Pascal's triangle, you can also use that, and I'll show you guys that real quick. What you do is, you just do this term square, I mean to a third power, so you have A to the third power, and you add 3, and then 3, and then 1. So the coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1, okay? And then what you do is, you see, we start with a to the third power, next is a squared, and next is a to the first power, and then lastly we have no a, all right? And then you have to build up the h. No h, and then this right here is h to the first power, and we add h squared, and lastly h to the third power. So that's how we can expand it with the Pascal's triangle. Well, if you are not familiar with this, just go ahead and multiply it out. I'll do that for you guys real quick. So let's see. A times A is A squared, and then you see that this times this is AH, ha, and then what's well, ah, and then this right here is ha, which is, let me just put it down, so we just put plus 2AH, and then plus H squared, and then we have the A plus H. And then just multiply it out again, so this times this, we get A to the third power, this times this, we get plus A squared H, and then this times this, right? This times this, which is plus 2 a square and then h to the first power. And this times this is plus 2 a h square. And this times this, which is plus a h square. And lastly, plus h to the third power. And we can combine like terms. We see that. This and that together will give us the 3a squared h. And then this and that, that will give us 3a h squared. Yeah? And then of course we have the a to a third power and also h to a third power. Okay, so this part is going to be for, yeah, this part is going to be for that. I told you this is harder when we have to expand it, right? So here we have the limit as h approaching zero. This is all that, which is a to the third power plus 3a squared h plus 3a h squared plus h third power. Whew. And then for this right here, I'll just, I'll just distribute it. I will get plus 2a plus 2h. And then lastly, distribute the negative, of course, so we get negative a to the third power and then minus 2a and then all divided by h wow now check this out we can combine terms on the top so that would be the beauty ready a to the third power cancel with this we have the minus 2a ah this is a plus 2a this is minus 2a they also cancel what else that's it huh yeah but notice, for the rest of the terms, they all have an h, so you can factor that out. So this right here becomes the limit as h approaching 0. Well, I'm going to take out the h, and then right here we get 3a squared, and then we have plus 3a h to the first power, because we only took 1 out and this has x squared, right? And then this is h squared, right? Because we took one out and this original was three and then lastly this is plus two because we took the h out and then right here we have the h and now this is the moment that we have been waiting for cancel cancel in the end we are just going to put the zero into all the h's so we just get well i'm going to just write down the answer three a square and this will be zero likewise that will also be zero and then don't forget we still have the plus two like this yeah and let me just remind you guys i plug in zero into the h i did not plug in zero into the a so you have to remember h is approaching zero so this is 3a square plus 3a times zero you see and then plus h is zero square and then lastly you have the plus two so, as I told you, this one, it will be harder to factor because if you don't remember how to factor the difference of two cubes, uh, that will be impossible. Sometimes you might have to do long division if it's not easily factorable. Yeah. 
And for this one, you can see that we will have to expand some powers. Yeah, so let me know your preference. Do not say none. I know what you guys are going to say, but please don't say it. Anyway, part A or part B, let me know which version that you like. And if you guys need more help, check out my other videos. I have a lot more Calc 1 tutorials for you guys. That's it for now.